Hello friends! Welcome to my kitchen again! Today I'm making panna cotta. Are you ready? Let's get started! The first step, we need to bloom gelatin or hydrate gelatin. I'm using one pack of gelatin, placing in a small bowl, and I'm getting cold water. I'm going to add three tablespoons of cold water into gelatin. I'm going to stir with a spoon. And I'm going to set aside for 10 to 15 minutes. In the medium saucepan, I'm going to add one and a half cup of whole milk. I like to use whole milk for my baking. It just gives more flavor. But if you want to use low fat or 1%, it's totally fine. To this milk, I'm going to add one and a half cup of granulated sugar. I'm going to whisk. And now I'm going to place over medium heat and warm it up, this mixture, until sugar is dissolved. Just make sure you're not going to boil this mixture. I warm up milk with sugar, all sugar dissolved. I'm checking with the whisk. I just want to make sure there is nothing left on the bottom. And to this mixture, I'm going to add some vanilla bean paste. You can also add just vanilla extract, but I like to add vanilla bean paste or just use real vanilla. About one tablespoon. Anything between one teaspoon and one tablespoon is good. Now the gelatin that was on the side, we're gonna add to this mixture. I'm just gonna whisk. I need to make sure all this gelatin dissolves. And to this mixture, I'm going to add one cup of cold heavy whipping cream. No whisking again a little bit. Just want to make sure everything is combined. Panna cotta mixture is ready. And now I'm ready to transfer into glasses. I'm using cupcake pan and I'm placing glasses, just regular wine glasses. This one I got from IKEA, I think. And I'm placing like this on the angle. Just make sure the angle is the same for all glasses. And I'm going to pour this panna cotta mixture into those glasses. And you have to be careful here to make sure you putting the same amount into all glasses. There is no rush. And you, if you have this vanilla beans, it's really beautiful. I love them to have. Usually they end up on the bottom of the saucepan.
So before pouring into glass, you can just shake a little bit this saucepan. Just want to make sure it's the same amount to all glasses. It's up to you. You don't have to put the glasses like this. You can just pour straight. I have so many vanilla bean seeds left. And that's all. Just like this, I'm going to leave it in the refrigerator for about six hours. Usually it's better to put overnight. The next day, while my panna cotta is still in the fridge, I'm going to make strawberry layer. First, we need to hydrate the gelatin. I'm going to be using one package. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of cold water. I'm going to mix with the same spoon. I'm going to set it aside. In the meanwhile, I'm going to be using fresh strawberries. I'm going to wash it, remove this uh, green part. I'm going to dry with a paper towel. I'm going to be cutting into small pieces. It really doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just about the same size all pieces. I place strawberries into small saucepan. I'm adding white granulated sugar, one third of the cup, and about one tablespoon of lemon juice. And as soon as strawberries start boiling, you remove from the heat. You see how much juice they released? And if your strawberry is not so juicy, I would recommend to add a little bit of water, about a tablespoon. The next step, I'm going to be using hand blender. You can also use a food processor or thermomix. We need to blend this cooked strawberries. And now I'm going to pass this puree to the strainer to remove all the seeds. And you can skip this step if you like seeds in a dessert. Just like this. This is what we have. Looks so fresh and delicious. 
Now we need to add this gelatin mass into puree. But you see that the gelatin bloomed and it's hard right now. I'm gonna put in a microwave for about five to 10 seconds, not more, and make a liquid. Now I'm gonna add to the strawberries. The gelatin, I'm gonna be uh, passing through the strainer. I just wanna make sure there is no any pieces of gelatin left. And I don't wanna have them in my dessert, just like this. I'm gonna mix it. And you can pour already over the panna cotta in a glass, or you can just leave in a room temperature or place in a fridge for about five to 10 minutes, just to make it even cooler. And I'm gonna be pouring this strawberry layer. This is why it's very important that the strawberry layer is cold. Other way, if you're gonna pour over panna cotta, it's gonna start melting. And we don't want this. Just like this. Just like this, you pour all a strawberry layer in a cups. This recipe is enough to make six cups. Usually it takes uh, four to six hours, but if you can do it overnight, it's totally fine. Just a little tip you end up having some strawberry layer on a cup, you just take a paper towel and clean it up before it's stabilized. And when you're ready to serve panna cotta, decorate with fresh berries and mint and enjoy. Happy baking!